Hello guys, uh, welcome back. My name is Andrei and today I would like to share a quick tutorial about um, Gradio application uh, and how to run it uh, on Docker. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Gradio, uh, recently Gradio framework uh, was acquired by Hugging Face and it's a great way to share uh, your ML models uh, with the community. Uh, Gradio allows quick demo of your ML models. And you can deploy uh, Gradio on Hugging Face Spaces. This is probably the primary usage. Gradio, you can uh, run it your, your, from your own computer and you can use a shared URL uh, with, through proxy and then uh, application that runs on your computer can be accessed from the outside. And uh, one more option to uh, use Gradio uh, is uh, to wrap it with Docker, for example, and, and run locally on your server. So this is what I'll uh, show today. I'll, I'll show how you could run it uh, on Docker. And uh, I'll be using uh, the latest uh, Gradio version, 2.7.5. Uh, in this version, they moved from Flask to Fast API for um, REST endpoint implementation. Okay. So let's uh, jump into the action, and let's uh, first let's actually uh, run container and let's access the application, and then we'll go through uh, Docker specific con specific configuration that I made in this uh, application. And all the source code is available on our GitHub repo, and below the video you can uh, get the URL to this repo. So first of all, let's check uh, images. And in order to save time, I, uh, in advance, I created a Docker image, which contains our uh, application code, uh, Gradio uh, functionality, and uh, uh, it wraps uh, everything. Um, and uh, this application is based on uh, Tapas model from uh, Hugging Face, and Tapas model allows to execute query against tabular data, and you can get results from, uh, you can get answers from tabular data based on, your, on the query that you're running. And yeah, to save time, I created the image based on the Docker file, which is uh, available in this uh, in this application. So now let's uh, uh, let's create a container uh, instance so that we could uh, access the application from Docker environment. And if you check readme file, there's a, uh, there's a Docker run command, uh, which uh, helps to uh, spin up. Uh, the image uh, container story from the image, and uh, this will be a table query container, and we refer to <coughs> uh, table uh, query image, right? And uh, the port we are using seven thousand. Okay, uh, container image uh, seems like it was created. Yeah, it's up and running, and we can access logs. Uh, let's from table query container. Okay, we can see that uh, uh, Gradio application was up and we are running on a local URL, localhost 7000. Okay, let's copy that and let's uh, go to the browser. And this is the image, this is the Gradio application that is served from uh, Docker container. We can select one of the examples and press Submit button, and what happens now, because it's very first time when we execute Gradio application from this Docker container, uh, uh, it will download um, uh, Hugging Face Tapas model. It's around 700 megabytes, and obviously the first execution, uh, it will uh, give us some wait time until uh, the model will, will be downloaded, and next time we'll, we'll execute, uh, we'll hit submit button and execute the query, it will be much faster. Uh, there, is a, there is a trick uh, how to avoid this first uh, wait time. Uh, wh when building Docker image um, in Docker file, you could execute, for example, at the end, you could execute Docker script, which refers to uh, Hugging Face model. And in that case, uh, a model um, structure will be downloaded when image will be created and model will be already in inside the image. Of course, uh, in this case, image size will be uh, bigger because it will contain image, uh, it'll contain uh, the model itself, right? Yeah, yeah. so it's it's your choice. Uh, I decided to, just for a quicker demo, uh, to uh, to download uh, Hugging Face model when a uh, container is created and when application is accessed for the first time. OK, 
Okay, uh, it spent 50 seconds. Uh, model executed uh, and we get back the result. So it was downloaded and executed. Now, if I uh, clean up the log and I select another example, hit submit and go back to the log, uh, I would see that. Okay, it spent nine seconds. So now it was using. Uh, mm, Hugging face tapas model, which was already downloaded, and it, it's it's returned back the result. Okay, and if you select another example, hit submit, and then we wait probably around seven, eight to nine seconds, and we should get the result uh, for that another query as well. Okay, this is the result is coming and uh, it's working. Okay, and two important things uh, uh, when you run radio application on Docker. First, uh, in your app uh, script, uh, where you launch um, a radio interface, you should refer to the, you should set server name to 000. This means uh, it will uh, be accessible from the outside of the Docker container. Uh, otherwise, if you leave it blank, then uh, you would not be able to uh, ping. Um, the application from the outside of the container. And uh, you should uh, set fixed port 7000 because later when uh, you create container, uh, you would expose this port to the outside. And then there's a Docker file, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, we copy requirements, install the requirements, then we copy the code and, uh, and then we say that uh, when container uh, will be initialized by default. We would like to run Python uh, command to start up the uh, script with um, uh, Gradio application. So uh, this was a really quick uh, tutorial uh, just to explain uh, how you could run Gradio on uh, Docker. Uh, hopefully this will be useful for your infrastructure and uh, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.